Hello, this is Michael Fine, Global Product Manager for Zebra's RFID printer portfolio. Uh, coming to you again today from my home office, just north of Chicago. And I uh, wanted to show you one more video about our ZD500R printer and a unique uh, label construction that we made for a special retail uh, use case. So first of all, I wanted to show you, I have this laid out in Zebra Designer. So this is Zebra Designer version three. And it's, it's pretty easy to do, it's pretty intuitive. You, it requires a driver, so you load a driver and then it's, it's kind of what you see is what you get. So I, I have some barcode fields laid out on here, I have some text fields, I have these linked to an RFID encode operation. I do that in the data menu, hopefully you can see this. And I go over to RFID tag, I specify the type of data that I want to encode. So in this case, I have a hex string and I have that linked uh, to the text data that I'm, you know, I'm putting into the, the barcode and, and text fields. So all these data sources will match. So exactly what I, what's the data in the barcode, the data in the print field, and the data that I'm going to encode to the RFID tag all match together. So next I'm going to switch over to the printer and uh, show you an example of, of how this works. Okay, so back again at my RFID printer. So I have my ZD500R here. I've previously calibrated it to this label. I've calibrated the label length. I've ran the RFID calibration. Uh, it's, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go to Zebra Designer. And now I'm gonna print the label that I just showed you. I'm gonna print, let's see, three of them. And then out, out come three labels. So I mentioned I had them serialized. So we had one, two, three, and each of these fields matches. So in each individual label, the barcode, the RFID data, and the text matches. And uh, you might be kind of wondering, this looks like kind of a funny label, right? Where I have, I have duplicate data on both sides. And again, this was because this is for a very specialized retail application where some of the items were larger and we had space to, to attach this large label to it. Some of them were smaller or, or they have specialty items that have foil lined or there's metal or liquids inside of it. So we wanted one label that could be flexible and, and serve a number of these different use cases. So the, the what we came up with here is, is pretty neat. So it, it, again, sim simple label um, with a perf in it, the inlay is in a very specific spot. And then when I peel this off, I can use this in, in a few different ways. I can attach it directly to my item if I have the space, just flat like that. I have a perf in the top of this, so I can fold it over, All right? And, and now I have a little tab on the bottom, and now I could even stick this directly to something metalized. I have the barcode on both sides, and, and my, my label flags off kind of whatever it is that I'm, that I'm using. So pretty innovative use case for ZD500R. Again, this happens to be to be specialty specialty retail. ZD500R, I think it's fair to say this the product that you see here is the widest deployed uh, RFID printer ever. There's tens of thousands of these out there in a variety of use cases, you know, in retail stores, healthcare environments, uh, offices, um, a lot of different places, really anywhere you need a small, small, easy to use, uh, space constrained, you know, or, or just, just medium to low volume, you know, capable RFID printer. So ZD500R, uh, along with a really uh, kind of innovative uh, specialized label for a uh, retail use case.